Pops 2020 Baseball Series 2 Jumbo Box Breakdown. Um, so there are 350 base cards in Series 2. And the uh, Jumbo Box states 10 packs, 46 cards per pack. And obviously those with a special insert uh, may contain less. Um, I know locally a uh, store was about $190 out the door for this box. And some online prices are about 160 plus tax, and that might be with free shipping or not. Regardless, this is not a cheap box, and it is a little crazy how much these jumbo boxes have gone up for 2020. It is a hobby-only box that can't be bought direct from Tops.com, which has been the case for all jumbo boxes that I know of, so I have no idea what the Tops suggested retail price is. The regular hobby boxes retailed for $69.99 on Tops.com. Obviously the allure of the jumbo box is the three hits, the one autograph and two relic cards, and we will talk about those later. Um, I will also post a video of the whole break with the listing of cards in each pack, but I figured I'd do a box st statistics video and highlight the inserts. So how did we go um, with this jumbo box? 451 cards, if I did my count right, of which 397 were base cards and 54 were insert cards. With 397 cards and only being 350 cards in Series 2 set, one would hope to at least get one complete set when spending that type of money, but the coalition is probably in favor of the consumer having to buy some more packs. I was 13 cards shy of a complete set and received 58 duplicate cards and no, and no triplicates. So one doesn't complain if the duplicate cards contain the key cards they are looking for. Um, but there was only one Luis Robert in this box and it remains to be said how deep the rookie class is in Series 2. Um, Let's you know that if uh, you buy a 2011 Topps Update Jumbo Box, you might only get one Mike Trout. Of course, that Jumbo Box is a, a little out of my price bracket and probably out of most people's price bracket. Um, so on to the 54 inserts. So each pack contained a 2030 card right here. So we got 10 of those each pack and and then there was a uh, 85 retro insert in each pack and a foil um, parallel in each pack And then it went into their advertisements of Tops Now. And there were three of these. Um, obviously there were some good names here. Mike Trout and Juan Soto. But I'm not necessarily a fan of the Tops Now cards inserts. Probably would have rather have had three of the 13 cards I'm missing to make a complete set. Two Warriors of the Diamond um, cards. And once again, I'm not so sure I'm a fan of of these cards. I think they're just filler. And then there were six decades best. So I got one, I think, in each decade. And I'm not sure how many. I haven't looked at the, the checklist to see if, how many are in the 50s, 60s, etc. So a 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Then one Mike Trout, player of the decade card. Two significant stat cards. And a home run challenge card. Now for the harder pulls in the box. Um, did pull an Independence Day um, out of 76. This one was Philip Irvin. So you can see how they're numbered out of 76. I have normally seen a Black Parallel or Independence Day in Jumbo Boxes I have opened in the past. Before you get excited, um, just remember that each card in the set is included in these type of inserts. 
So for 76 cards uh, multiplied by 350, there's 26,600 of these independence cards out there, which isn't a lot, but when you're hoping to pull that one key card, say a Luis Robert, your chances are less than half a percent with one card being pulled out of that population. Extremely lucky if you get a star card, which I did not. Um, you might think you have a better chance of finding a gold parallel numbered card. Yeah, there's 707,000 of those out there because there's 20, 20 for each player. But again, your percentage of pulling the one card you want are still slim, even though you'll get more chances in the box. Um, the three gold cards pulled out of this box, Chad Wallach, um, Chris Bassett, and Giancarlo Stanton. Um, probably better chances of getting a foil card of that key card, but I don't know the population of the foil cards. The other numbered card... Um, out of this box was an advanced statistics card. It's got uh, Heinemann of the Rangers, and these were out of 300, so this was 204 out of 300. And, uh, you know, we'll have to see. At least he's a rookie. We'll see how he does. Usually there's a short print in the box, and one's hoping for a super short print, or in this series, a super, super short print. But don't be surprised if there's a regular short print, and that's what was in this box, the Walker Bueller um, short print. And on the code on the back, um, 115. Now for the allure of the box, the three hits. Um, so this was the manufactured material relic. Uh, just it says right here commemorative jersey sleeve patch so it wasn't even game used um, and it's just Trevor Story unnumbered and then the relic was a sunny gray and that one does say game used memorabilia non-numbered it's a most of them are in the 85 style and then the auto was Darwin's and Hernandez of the Red Sox, a non-rookie card. Um, so the allure is to get the right hit and hopefully pull a Mike Trout auto or an SSP or an SSSP. But remember that, that most boxes are probably going to be like this box. Definitely not for the kids at this price point. Um, and obviously more cost-effective to buy a complete factory set to get all the base cards. Um, the one other thing that they are doing with um, the hobby boxes now is the insert uh, silver packs. This was the Chrome's Decades Best Cards inside. Um, an 80's Goose Gossage and a Jacob de Grom. The Goose Gossage was out of 50. And then two of the Chrome packs and these were just uh, I guess normal, um, no variations. Edward Azale, Justin Dunn, Joey Votto, Abraham Toro, Matt Chapman, Isan Diaz, Justin Verlander, Javier Baez. Um, yeah, so honestly, if you're trying to get the hits, um, just go in with your eyes open and realize that you might not get the monster hit. Um, I honestly hope the prices of the boxes and packs normalize on release dates. And I actually wonder about retail availability of lower cost boxes. Um, really fear for the, the future of kids being able to collect for fun. Because this, this box is definitely um, out of reach, I think, for the general, general population of, you know, kids. And for the most part, some adults. Um, obviously, uh, I sprung, sprung for this box. Um, but that, that's uh, my breakdown, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks.